Hey everyone, Shark here. What I got for you today is a little bit of over the shoulder coaching. So uh, I was playing a scrim uh, with my buddy Tony, AKA Floofy Dog here. Uh, Aries offered to hop in, coach me over the shoulder. So that's mainly what you're gonna see here. But what I really like about this match is the approach to USF, right? So with the motor pool and the light vehicles nerfed, this is a kind of a different take on it using the special operations battle group and a half track series to basically minimize the manpower bleed and allow USF to take control of the map. So quick one here, I'll post a build order at the end. I'll leave everything else to Aries. All right, enjoy. You got Let's it? Let's do the do, yeah. All right, so um, I am going to, let's see, how do I want to approach this Dak. So I'm going to play airborne with a weapon support center start, like a couple pathfinders. MG bazooka into Paris. You don't have the armored battle group, huh? No. So I personally went on SSF. Get the uh, weasel out right away. Cancel all uh, ISE and get rifles. Okay. Gonna give you a stronger start because it's gonna give you some form of a jeep, but it's gonna give you more utility. So, get about, I'd say, <laughs> get three rifles up, mm -hmm. then get a uh, ISC up, get a quad half track into two AT half tracks. A quad half track? Yeah. Um, that's going to help you counter his bike. It's going to allow you to apply pressure to the infantry on top of your rifles. It's going to delete any 250s he tries to field. It'll mm -hmm. be enough of a buffer for you to actually fight the 20 mil 250s um okay. support with your rifleman until you can get the at half track the at half tracks a gonna be your at you're gonna have two of them yep um if you can get the uh, dead shot ability it's great and then they're also going to double as a double pack howie essentially too so if he's trying to dig in at guns etc okay you can push in that your build's just going to be more glass cannon centered though okay boys one out we're moving to secure that's our number boys Oh, I hate when they do that. And going this build's um, also going to allow you to get really early bars up because you're not eating the fuel demand of tier three now. Yeah. You just have a stronger early game presence that will tech better into mid and late game because you're not, unless you specifically need the hard AT guns, there's no reason to go tier three. Okay. Now, so have your scouts cap to the star. Put your rifles just in that little pocket for the fuel. So you could have been. Yeah, I, I, was gonna, all the way I was going to try to lure him in with it. The weasel ones that fight any day. So tech your captain. So your scouts are gonna do fine as long as he doesn't push on his guy the bike, never mind. Get, get your other rifles as close on top of the peer guns as you can. Okay. Leave that there. Just You can shift key your weasel. That way you leave it alone. Retreat those. Retreat those other two squads. You're going to do anything but bleed manpower and health. You're getting kicked off, but you own the rest of the map. Okay. So shift key that, and then shift key to the... Yeah. Tech ISC. Yeah, I am. It's already on the way. No, I mean uh, the other building, tier two. Oh, the, oh, gotcha. Move your 
Jesus. Get upstairs, careful. So, your scouts, you're gonna have them queue that and the uh, ammo point. Send your rifles. All to prioritize the fuel. Okay. Bring your captain up too so you can start getting the shared veterancy. So much for peace and quiet. A fuel point is being seized by the enemy. Next. All riflemen squads are being upgraded with VARs, Commander. So I'd get nades before you get bars, but ultimately I'd get the half track before I get either. Just if he comes up with an OV, it's gonna destroy you. Okay. So I'd cancel Natek and just focus on getting the LV out, your half track. Well, you didn't have to cancel both. I didn't. Yeah, that wasn't intentional. <laughs> will light up the, battlefield at your command. the reason you also went T2 is because when you get the SSF squad, right, we're going to aim for two squads. Uh, you're going to want to get the upgraded Zooks, and then your priority is also by not having as demanding of a fuel by going tier 3. You're going to be able to upgrade your infantry reserves for the discounts, um, which is going to help reinforce your SSF and then your rifles as well. Signal. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's right. You send that on the double uh, ammo point to the left. You say quad mount? Yeah, get that first. You, uh, make sure you tech nades on the rifles. You got it. That way you can't get run down. Get the other half track out before you take bars. No. Okay. Uh, you guys do stuff. So I'd send both rifles down to go kill those engineers. You could possibly wipe them on retreat. Have your captain cap. One rifle to take the cutoff, one rifle to take the fuel, send the half track to go get the bike. Okay, there's your ET. Keep your rifles right there on the VP. It's going to be your buffer for that half track and just kind of walk them towards that half track. That way they can stay with them. Okay. Send the rifles on the VP towards your half track. You didn't get the bike, so you can cut it off with your captain or either infantry squad there and get oh, or that one. Back that up. You're gonna have to have that rifle snare. Get a sticky bomb on him. Oh, we didn't have to use that. Yeah. So that's where TACMAP comes in helpful, right? You can, you're, you're, so you're prioritizing your veterancy. You kept that there, because still could have gotten it away. Um, so that was wasting manpower and fuel. So you prioritize your veterancy instead of backing your half track up from your base and rotating the other one to help that half track out. Gotcha. And you're gonna, your captain. Your captain's in trouble. You're going to lose that captain. So you have it hotkey too. Yeah. But you clicked because you're not familiar with your hotkeys on your own binds. That's the main reason that it's better to A, you can be in attack map. You can click, swipe over the captain to treat him. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's better to never control group your main infantry unless, like, you have, say, Zook squads. You can make those as your AT binds. But your vehicles, you know, main tanks per se. Uh, for example, like keybind one, you need to snare there. You're in trouble. Just keep backing it up. Some of those are gonna reinforce. Get an NG up. So it's best to do like tanks, say like keybind one. I mean, you can take a pick. Uh, keep backing the half track out. If he runs you down with something else, you're done. AT, say keybind two, um, indirect could be keybind three, and then say engineers could be four. Yeah, so he's gonna come run you down right there. 
So your next play needs to be the AT half track, which we should have had three minutes ago, which you did, but we lost it. So bet us in the butt there. So I want you to attack map. Play from your attack map for a minute, okay? Okay. Stop. Just look, and I want you just to get used to your attack map. Get out of your attack. Leave that there. It'll self repair. You can put your rifle on green cover. You can rotate them. You can do all kinds of stuff. Snare the half track. Move over the half track. Click X. Mm -hmm. It's your challenge for the next two minutes. It's 11:30. Is just playing your attack map. Once you get your other half track up, you need to get a med ton up. And now you're starting to really feel it. Oh. Oh, yeah, I got I got a med tent. Okay, good. Play from your tech map. So you could have your other half track pushing that half track away right now. Oh, it's not being as aggressive on you. Okay, hold that other half track. There you go. You got infantry moving up, so don't get snared. Back up, R. R. There you go. You're back. There you go. Keep that formation tight. Super down. Cut through them. Yeah. Get it done, Howard. You cover the rear. Oh, goddammit. Got ordered. M3 displacing. Don't stop for right. Ready for the has got a nice little nest egg here. Careful setting the vehicles first. We do know he has Panzer Jaegers. Um, nice. Snare that. Move your yep. rotate both half tracks. There it is. Look on your other gun carriage. You can push that half track and kill it with your other one. So I would have rotated the uh, the gun track around, just flanked it, and then zoomed it out because you have the vet speed ability boost. Okay. Retreat that rifle. Just click on the half track. Yeah, there you go. Back her up. Yeah, you now you're getting it. Okay. Next by, get your bars and then get the other half track up, okay? Okay. You want another half track? Yep. And your bars. Yep. So stop right there. I'm going to do a douchey move. Barrage is based with the AT half track. No, so always try to go for target weak point. Completely uh, disables okay. the tanks, and it's going to allow you to absolutely monkey them with your SSI. Other half track. No, no. not six. <laughs> just, just click R. Don't even click on it. Just get used to your keybinds. Okay, now back that AT half track up. You've teased them enough. You don't want to <laughs> make them pissed. <laughs> So now you're floating 300 munitions. Your assault flares, every single time you activate those, giving you an accuracy bonus against the infantry you're fighting. Oh. So, I, I wouldn't be planning mines. I'd, I'd focus on upgrading my bars. Um, upgrade that half track. So cancel those mines that you place down. And then use your extra munitions to pop those signal flares to give you that edge in combat. Okay. Don't use it until you... Make contact. contact. Yep. Yep. Now push your infantry in, push your vehicles in. Keep your AT back though. Your AT does not need to be in that fight. Yep. Right from no. on the left. Click in on the engagement on the left. Just let that one be. What mark are your half track? It's gonna die. Set your engineers on it to start repairing. Focus that AT again. Remember, don't forget to use your nades. You have it. So now that we're doing good, let's go tier four. Bring your AT half tracks up. Kill that AT gun. Keep vision on it. Mm -hmm. Let her repair on that side. So now your goal is going to be combine the signal flares with the uh, 
um, Recu later. Okay. And you're going to absolutely shred everything that's in front of you. Can you take his half tracks? Bombard his closest building. M3 tank destroy reporting. Right, you're always wanting to be proactive with your units somehow. So you can send your, yeah, send both of those there. Let your rifles heal. You're in a comfortable state right now. You don't really need to put that pressure up. <laughs> Once we're all healed, then bring them up. So throw an eight, right? You're throwing a lot of munitions. Weasel. And he's called GG. Well done. So I know it's a bit more uncomfortable playing, you know, in your attack map like that. Mm -hmm. But I want you to realize everything you can do in game, staring just like you are, you can do within the attack map. And that's how you get to that next level of you can micro three or four engagements at a time. You can throw grenades, you can plant mines, you can repair vehicles, retreat them, activate all your special abilities, everything. I mean, you could do the commander colons too, if you know the hotkeys. I personally don't. My dumbass <laughs> would hit all F4 instead of control F4. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But uh, besides that, um, you can do everything within your attack map if you truly tried to play within it. You can even like watch, go to your attack map real quick. Mm hmm. So, say you look around the fuel point, you can see all the cover lines, all the green point, all the green cover with around the fuel point that you can set your infantry on and yeah. face them a direction forward, um, just by you know playing within it, and by being by playing in it more, you kept that weasel alive, you were able to keep your half tracks alive, and you were still able to control entire engagements and throw grenades and everything else you needed to do. So. Um, yeah, no, that was that was pretty cool, especially the like two minutes of just tack map. Um, but yeah, that was fun. Thanks, man. Uh, yeah, dude. All right, so Aries laid out the strategy during the game, but one more time, just as a quick overview, you obviously start with your scout, you go to special operations battle group, get the weasel out for the early capping power, build a barracks into three rifle squads, tech in the infantry support center as soon as you can. Then from there, weapon support center. And this is where you start pumping out the half tracks. So the goal is to get the first half track as a quad 50 and then two more with the 75 mil upgrade for AT and for the barrage capability. Uh, at this point, you need the tech grenades, the med station, and eventually BARs for your rifles to help them manage the DAC light vehicle threat, as well as engineers uh, basically to repair your vehicles. Uh, I got the tank depot out. I made some tech choices, but at this point, the game was pretty much over. The one thing I did want to highlight here, and Ares hit it in the cast, is the use of the rating flares. So they provide an accuracy bonus to your infantry, so leveraging them whenever you can when you're facing a large engagement is really valuable. All right, and then what you see here from Fluffy Dog is a pretty meta tier two build from the DAC at the start. So Panzer Pioneers, Crowd Shoots, and three Panzer Grenadiers, which I think is pretty viable in the current patch given um, how well they scale into the late game. He gets the light support company, he gets fire support elements. He starts to build the flak for Ling, is forced to abandon it when he sees the half track and gets the Panzer Jaeger mechanized group instead. Uh, gets his flak for Ling out. The downside to the flak for Ling is I'm not playing super infantry heavy. It's only three rifle squads as opposed to like four or five that you might see in some other builds. So he's naturally at a little bit of a disadvantage to the mechanized build of the half tracks here. Um, something like going for tier three with an eight rod and then a couple of martyrs in support might have been more effective or at least more square with the US build. He's forced to tech into the med truck. He gets a pack 38 at the end of the game, um, starts to build his tier four, but at this point the game's more or less over. One thing I did want to point out, within the armored support battle group, he gets uh, the, uh, the additional penetration. Um, it makes sense only in that he doesn't have anything on the field to take advan advantage of the superior fire drills, but I think in the current meta, the superior fire drills, that 100% bonus to coaxial machine gun damage uh, is just too good to pass up here. Um, so yeah, so that's it. I know this is a quick one. I hope this is helpful. Uh, love to hear what you guys think. Sorry for my sloppy play, but at least I have errors there to fix me. Uh, and that's it. That's all I got. Later.